this particular track with Walmart moving in just down the street and uh, others uh, as well this this is going to be a major uh, influence on our county this day is long in the making as it pertains to legends there are very few that can fit the bill better than John Bowden and John Sheehy both of which had an immeasurable amount of influence, positive influence, on the Waco Industrial Foundation. This is a thrill. When I was growing up, the trunk of my dad's car was like his second office. It was usually filled with maps and surveys, with engineering reports and a pair of boots just in case. In his long and successful business career, he was involved in all sorts of things banking, insurance, manufacturing, even a sheep farm in Tasmania. But I think he was happiest when he was jumping a curb or crossing a ditch to look at a piece of land, and he probably jumped that curb. <laughs> someday he would say, someday this will be the crossroads of Texas, and I think he was right. This land was in our family for 20 years, and uh, we really thought, he and I, that our job was mostly just to hang on to it until the future came along. And it turns out that the Waco Industrial Foundation, the city of Waco, and the city of Robinson were the future. They were the visionaries. Uh, we do two things at the Industrial Foundation. We create jobs and we create tax base. Uh, Mr. Bowden, this one's going to do a ton of both. There are going to be a lot of people working here, and there are going to be a lot of tax dollars created. And... Uh, we can't thank you enough for all that you've done for Waco Industrial Foundation through the years, but when it comes to this particular piece of property, we apologize if we thank you a few extra times because this one is, is an unusually successful and significant part of our, uh, of our holdings. And let me tell you something, what a special day. One. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah.